What's going on guys? I've got here a 2008 Toyota 4Runner and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of all of the different fuses for your power outlets, your cigarette lighter, and also for the power inverter here. So we're gonna begin by inspecting the fuses that are behind this cover here. Real simple to remove this. You basically reach in and pull this right out. Now looking at the fuses, first I'm gonna show you the fuse for the cigarette lighter. So that's gonna be this 10 amp fuse right here. Now what's cool about this fuse is it receives power from the ignition switch. So if you've changed this fuse and your cigarette lighter is still not working, you can check to see if it's receiving power. And if you do not see power coming in through at this fuse with the ignition switch turned to the on position, well then you know that your ignition switch is probably failing. There's some other fuses here that are useful. Um, there's a power outlet fuse, which is this 15 amp fuse right here. This actually provides power to the front and the rear power outlet. There's also an accessory fuse, which is this seven and a half amp fuse. Power from this fuse is needed to engage the relay that turns power to this fuse on. And that relay is built into this assembly here. Now, as far as the power inverter fuse, that is actually under the hood. So let's go take a look at that. So over here on the driver's side, there's a fuse box. It's real simple to remove. There's a tab over here that you push in and then lift up. So the fuse for the inverter is this 15 amp fuse right here. And the inverter relay is this relay right here. So if your inverter fuse is good, you can try swapping your inverter relay with a different relay, such as the fog light relay. And uh, that's about it for the troubleshooting steps here. Uh, there's also a fuse puller that you can use if you don't have any pliers with you. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful for you, or at the very least was a good starting point in troubleshooting the power outlets on your Toyota 4Runner. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below, and also leave any advice if you have any. Thanks for watching.